Did Ahsoka's eyes really turn Sith here? One of the biggest debates going on about Episode 5 was did Ahsoka's eyes really look like a Sith color here? I mean, did she tap into her dark side? Did she go that far? A lot of people think she did have Sith eyes here and she fully committed to the dark side in this fight. While on the other hand, many think it's just from the red lightsaber reflection. So I'm going to share not only what I think, but an actual real in-depth explanation as well. Let's get right into it. So first let's think, how does one even get these Sith colored eyes? I mean, what's the process like? How does somebody go from having normal colored eyes to all of a the sudden they're yellow and red and just filled with hatred? Well, for starters, we know a lot of Sith users have these colored eyes, but I wouldn't only limit it to the Sith. Remember, the Sith was almost like a type of religion. The dark side, however, is a lot more greater, so I would kind of consider these eyes to come from a pure dark side user rather than a Sith. The reason being is because not every Sith has these eyes. For example, Count Dooku. From what we know of, Count Dooku only had yellow eyes once, and that was when he trained Savage Opress in the Clone Wars, and that was about it. Other than that, he would never be seen with them, so why is this? Well, because the reason for this is because the only time these color eyes appear is when somebody is fully devoted to the dark side. When a force user is consumed with the dark side and there's actually no more feelings or emotions left in that person, that's when it happens. All that's left in that person is just anger and hate. When somebody does get these colored eyes, it's normally in like a duel or something where they're in a fight and the dark side usually takes full control over them. An example of this is Anakin. We saw Anakin have these colored eyes when he slaughtered every one of the Separatist leaders. Well, it's because he's just committed such a dark action. You gotta understand, he's been fighting these Separatist leaders for years, throughout the entire Clone Wars. They've taken out multiple of his clones, he considered family, and he's had countless wars against them. So this is now his chance to just go full crazy on them and wipe out every single one of them without even a hesitation. In this moment, he feels absolutely no emotion, no feelings, just pure evil actions and it consumes him and takes over him. And that's what creates his eyes to become that color. I mean, he saw Padme literally moments after he wiped out these Separatist leaders and even after all his actions, you can see here how happy he was to see her. He was in love with her, so of course when he saw her, he was just filled with nothing but love and joy. But the same applies with Obi-Wan, not in the love way obviously, but although he fought him with nothing but hate, Anakin still had emotions in this fight. I mean, this was his brother, you gotta understand this. It wasn't until after where Obi-Wan really sliced him in half like Fruit Ninja where his eyes turned back to yellow. At that moment, that's where it fully consumed him. That's when the hate and the anger started pouring in and began to fuel him with nothing but rage. Another person we can look at here is somebody like Darth Maul. Maul has these yellow eyes constantly and all the time basically. You may ask, well why? Well because Maul was always filled with hate, with anger. He had that in The Phantom Menace and then in The Clone Wars it just got more and more. During the Clone Wars, all he wanted was revenge against Kenobi. It fueled him non-stop, and unlike Maul, someone like Dooku or Kylo really never had that same willpower for the dark side. They never had that same eye color as well. The only time Kylo had these yellow eyes, from what we know of, is when he bled out his kyber crystal and fully devoted himself to the dark side in that moment. Similar to Dooku, Kylo wasn't fully pledged to the dark side, and he dealt with a lot of conflict in him as we saw. So now that we know what causes this, let's go back to Ahsoka. Were her eyes really yellow? Well, I'm gonna say no, because if somebody like Count Dooku can't even experience this when he's fighting Yoda or Anakin, then there's no way Ahsoka could in my opinion. I do believe this is the reflection of the lightsaber here, however, I do think this was done on purpose. This was definitely not a mistake that Filoni made, and it wouldn't be the first time he's done this. Do you remember when Maul and Obi-Wan had their final duel against each other in Rebels? Well, when Maul dies, he asks Obi-Wan, is he the chosen one? And everyone for years to this day are wondering, who did he mean by this? Was it Luke? Was it Anakin? And say it was Luke, wasn't Anakin supposed to be the chosen one? Well, this is the power of Star Wars right here. I mean, these are the unexplained answers that leave fans debating for years. A huge example of this was the question, did Boba Fett survive the Sarlacc pit? I mean, people were talking about that for 40 years. Did he survive? Did he not survive? Well, this could have happened, or this. And thankfully that was just answered in his recent show, but the point is, this is what keeps Star Wars fans going. This is what keeps the magic of it involved. So going back to Ahsoka, I don't think she performed enough of a dark side action where it actually physically consumed her and changed her appearance basically. I don't think so. But I do think she carried a lot of emotions in this scene. I think she had hurt, anger, and guilt more than anything, but not enough for her to be fully committed to the dark side. I really think Ahsoka is what the true embodiment of what the light side of the force is, and I don't think she really has that capability in her nature to be a part of the dark side or to even get near it. Remember, the daughter of Mortis lives in her. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I do explain this a little bit more in the video I attached above. Hopefully that helps out. But anyways, the daughter of Mortis was pure light side, and when she died, she transferred her remaining life force into Ahsoka to basically save her. So I really don't think Ahsoka can physically use the dark side, it's not in her. 
So with everything that we know now, this is just personally what I think. I mean, regardless, I thought it was a beautiful fight from the emotions to the flashbacks. It honestly felt like Star Wars to me and I absolutely loved it. But like I said, I really do believe this was shown on purpose as kind of like a symbolism or along those lines, but I don't think Ahsoka has that in her to be fully consumed by the dark side like that. At least not to the extent where it actually changes her physical appearance, like her eyes for example. But anyways, I want to know what you think. Do you think the dark side consumed her and that's what changed her eye color or do you think it was just a reflection of the lightsaber? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you, always.